On this April Fool's Day, the Lake Forest Scouts proved that they're no joke as they climbed to 3-0 in the spring season with an emphatic 23-14 win over arch-rival Libertyville. Quarterback Richie Hoskins was the player of the game for the Scouts as he made a fool of the Wildcats defense, scoring two rushing touchdowns and throwing a 50-plus yard touchdown pass to Kay Noak that firmly put Lake Forest on top. Leo Shiler and Robert Passanato made crucial interceptions in the second half and were part of a defense that held Libertyville to only one touchdown after halftime. It was an all-around strong performance from the Scouts, who, on the eve of Good Friday, are feeling pretty good. Hoskins got the scoring going early for the Scouts as he scrambled for a 35-yard touchdown run just under five minutes into the game. Touchdown! Colin Sloan missed the point after, but he would make up for it later in the half. Next quarter, with his team down six, Libertyville quarterback Blake Ellingson connected with junior wideout Connor Dixon for a score. The Wildcats would successfully convert the ensuing two-point conversion, putting them up 8-6. to six. But the scouts would have the final award before the half, as Colin Sloan redeemed himself for that missed PAT by nailing a lengthy field goal, sending the scouts to the locker room with a slim 9-8 lead. On the first possession after halftime, the scouts came out firing. That's junior tailback Jahari Scott with a big breakaway run. Later on, Hoskins found Cade Noak across the middle for a connection that would put the scouts on the goal line. Of course, it was Hoskins who sealed the deal on the drive, faking out the camera and a few defenders for an easy score. But the Wildcats weren't out of it just yet. A little over halfway through the third quarter, and a nice pass from Ellingson set up Libertyville inside the red zone, with the quarterback connected once again with Connor Dixon for a 17-yard score, making it 16-14 scouts after the Wildcats failed to convert the two-point try. Later in the fourth quarter, Lake Forest wanted some insurance, and they got it, as Hoskins found Kay Noak in stride for a 56-yard touchdown pass. After the game, Hoskins said it was a play they had worked on together in practice, one that worked to perfection on Thursday night, giving the scouts a 23-14 lead late in the fourth quarter. Down two scores, and with little time remaining, Ellingson chucked up a duck that fell into the hands of sophomore Robert Passanato, all but guaranteeing a scouts victory. Hoskins would take one final kneel down to put the finishing touch on an impressive win for the Lake Forest scouts. Their defeat of rival Libertyville, also 2-0, was certainly a reason to celebrate. Thank you for attending tonight's game. Please drive safely and have a wonderful rest of the day. Um, we dominated. Uh, I know the score didn't say as much, but we were we were out flying around. I know there are a few mental mistakes here and there, but overall we dominated physically. Um, I'm just it's Libertyville, man. What can I say? We're happy. Obviously, super stoked to win and glad that our senior class finally got a chance to beat these guys. Last year didn't go so well, so um, super stoked to win this game. I'm super happy with everybody and put a great team game. This is the biggest game of the year for us. We beat Libertyville. We're all super stoked, like I said. Well, I'm just happy for our kids. You know, they've earned it. They've done everything that we've asked and obviously they've enjoyed the fruits of their labor to this point, so really, really proud of them. You know, whenever you can, you know, beat Libertyville, it's, it's a good day in Lake Forest. Feels absolutely incredible, um, but we're not going to let that get to our heads. Uh, we still have three games left in the season. Um, I know the seniors are going to come out and play, and I know the juniors are going to do the same, and even some of the sophomores who are on the team are going to come out, crack some skulls, and uh, help bring us to an undefeated season. I guess all i got to say is go Scouts. That was an absolute Scout victory, Scout pride. Um, SEO, baby. Like Hoskins said, this game was especially important for the Scouts, who hadn't beat Libertyville since 2018. With the win, the Scouts remain tied for first place atop the North Suburban Conference standings alongside Warren. Next Friday, Lake Forest will go on the road to face the Zion Benton Zeebies. From freezing cold Varsity Field in Lake Forest, I'm Peter Elliott for the Forest Scout.